Hello friends and welcome to our reading circle. Today I have a story called Olivia Builds a Snow Lady that we're gonna read. How many of you all have ever been outside and built a snowman or a snow girl or a snow lady? Or maybe you built a whole snow family. Well, today we're gonna read a story about Olivia and find out what she does and how she makes her snow lady. Come on and join me. Olivia builds a snow lady. Something very special is happening this weekend, Mrs. H said. Does anybody know what it is? Harold raised his hand. My mom is taking me to get long underwear. No, not that, said Mrs. H as the class giggled. Olivia raised her hand. I know, she said. It's the Maywood Winter Festival. That's right, replied Mrs. H. And what are, should I say who, is the most important part of the winter festival. The snowman, the Clyde class answered all together. Every year, someone new is put in charge of building the snowman for the winter festival. It is a special honor. This year, our class will be in charge of the snowman, Mrs. H announced. What kind of snowman should we make? There were so many ideas. A snow clown, suggested Francine. Twin snowmen, suggested Otto and Oscar. A snowman who is perfect and small, just like me, suggested Daisy. Olivia had an idea. I wonder, she thought, how about a snow lady? The biggest snow lady the town has ever seen, said Olivia. Everyone cheered. What a great idea. The next day, Olivia met up with Francine and Harold to build the snow lady. Thanks for helping, Olivia said to her friends. No problem, said Francine. But what is that, she asked, pointing to a loud machine that Ian and father were tinkering with. Oh, that's my mom's cotton candy machine, Olivia explained. Ian wants to sell cotton candy at the festival. Now, let's get down to business, Olivia continued. She rolled out a blueprint for Harold and Francine to see. Here's the plan. Olivia, Francine, and Harold got to work. Harold went to find things to make the snow lady's face. Olivia and Francine rolled some snowballs. The snowballs got bigger and bigger until they were giant size. Wow. These snowballs are huge, said Francine. There's no way we can lift another snowball all the way up there. Who said anything about lifting it, replied Olivia. We'll use a ramp. Now prepare to launch, Olivia called to Francine after they had constructed their ramp. Just as Olivia launched the snowball, Harold showed up holding a big carrot and lumps of coal. Look out, called Olivia and Francine, but it was too late. Luckily for Harold, the giant snowball just rolled right over him and it rolled and he picked it up, the carrot and lumps of coal before landing softly on top of the other snowballs. Now she's as big as a dinosaur, said Ian. The snow lady is beautiful, added father. Building a snow lady is hard work. Great job, everyone, Olivia said. 
The next day was the day of the festival. Olivia woke up feeling excited. Look alive, everybody. Grab your mittens and scarves. We have to get to the festival, said Olivia, as she rushed into the kitchen. Then Olivia looked out the window and saw that it was very sunny outside. Very sunny indeed. Uh-oh, said Olivia. I wonder what happened. Later at the festival grounds, Olivia looked around for the beautiful snow lady. At first she couldn't find her, and then she spotted her. What happened to the snow lady, asked Harold. She melted, said Olivia. Oh no, cried Francine. What do we do, asked Harold. In the distance, Olivia's father fired up the cotton candy machine and gave, it gave Olivia a wonderful idea. Harold, Francine, we're building a bigger, better snow lady, she said excitedly. But the snow is too slushy, Francine pointed out. Who needs snow, Olivia exclaimed. We have something better. The thing about cotton candy, Olivia explained to her friends, is that you have to twirl it. Oh, I wonder what she's gonna do with that cotton candy. Olivia twirled and twirled. Francine twirled and twirled. Harold twirled and twirled and got dizzy. So Ian helped out and twirled. All right, twirlers, that should do it, Olivia called. Then she whistled, and moments later, Perry appeared with Olivia's trunk on a sled. And now to put it all together, Olivia told her friends. Soon the cotton candy snow lady had a face made of rubber ball eyes and a watermelon mouth. A tin foil tiara sat on top of her head. She lowered over the crowd that had gathered. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the world's biggest and pinkest snow lady, Olivia exclaimed. Everyone oohed and odd. This is the most magnific magnificent, magnificent snow lady I have ever seen, said Mrs. H. And the tastiest, added Harold. Let the winter festival begin, cried Olivia. Later that night, it was time for bed. Olivia, that was the best winter festival ever. Thanks to you and your snow lady, said Olivia's mother. Thanks, Mom, said Olivia. I think I'll make a cotton candy igloo next, or maybe a cotton candy cruise ship. That sounds wonderful, replied Mother. I can't wait for next year's festival. Good night, Olivia. All right. Wasn't that a super cool story, friends? After their original snowman melted, what did they do? They got creative and use their cotton candy machine to make an even bigger snow lady. And like they said, it was a tasty snow lady also. They made it out of cotton candy. So cool. All right, so now we are going to make our own snow lady. Come on and join me. All right, friends, so today, we are going to build our own snow lady. What you need for this activity, you need paper plates, white paper plates like I have here. Then you're gonna need some construction paper. I have black, purple, yellow, and orange. But to make your snowman as perfect as you want, you can choose whatever colors you want. These are just the colors that I had that I chose. 
So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna glue your plates together. You're gonna take some glue, glue them down, push it on there, put all three of them together, and then we have our eyes here that we're gonna glue on. And if you just wanna use black construction paper, you can do that also. So we put our eyes on, glue both of them on. Glue them down. Then we have our carrot nose that we're gonna glue down on there. Glue our carrot nose. Then we have our scarf we're gonna glue on there. Glue our scarf down so that he stays nice. She stays nice and warm. Glue our scarf. Then we have our buttons that we're gonna put on our snow lady. Glue those down. You can make your circles any size you want. They can be big or small. Then we of course have our crown to put on our snow lady. And then, voila, you have your own snow lady that you've made. All right, awesome job, friends. So, you can tell your parents, get you some construction paper and a paper plate so that you can make your own snow lady. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed reading our story, Olivia Builds a Snow Lady and then building your own snow lady or snowman at home. So remember, to do this activity, you need three paper plates, construction paper, and glue. So you can go tell your parents, I want to make a snow lady or snowman, and I know exactly what I need to build it. Because remember, in our story, Olivia builds a snow lady, remember, she started out making her snow lady with snow, but then what happened to that snow lady? It melted, so she had to get creative and use something else to build her snow lady. And that is what we did. We got creative, and we know that we can use paper plates and construction paper to make our own snow person. I hope you enjoyed listening to our story today. See you next time. Bye-bye.